I, for one, hate it when hamster videos go viral. Nine times out of ten, it's either the hamster video has improper care or it's a hamster showing some sort of behavior that people think is funny or cute when it's the complete opposite. And then you also get these people when there's a viral hamster video, they just like crawl out of their cave and they're like, I had a hamster once 10 years ago, so I know everything about them. And did you know that if a pregnant hamster is doing a backflip, that means they wanna scramble the baby's brains. And then everybody else is like, wow, didn't know that. Thank you so much for that information. Like I learned something new today. And then I'm sitting there like, we're not gonna fact check. So this hamster video went viral on TikTok and then somebody put it on Twitter and then somebody quote tweeted it and then the quote tweet of the video got on like all platforms and then people were like tagging me and they're like, is this true? So here is the video. It has 4 million views. It's essentially just a hybrid dwarf baby hamster. screaming and that is the video that is that's it but somebody quote tweeted it and they went if you're wondering sometimes hamsters just scream once they find out that they can scream and that got a lot of retweets quote tweets likes and that is why people were tagging me and asking me like oh my gosh is this true so yes hamsters can scream it's not a pleasant noise and it's not supposed to be a pleasant noise. The reasons hamsters scream is because they feel threatened, in distressed, or scared. It's, it's a fear-based behavior. They're not doing it because they learn how. They're not doing it for fun. Keep in mind, animals have instincts, so they'll naturally know how to do a lot of things. One of them being screaming if they're super duper scared they don't just like learn it they don't repeat it like a parrot it, that's it, it's not how it works so after i read this i was like okay where where are you getting this from like this couldn't have just popped out of nowhere so i was like i'm gonna get to the bottom of this um and i went ahead and i went on google and i looked up why do hamsters scream so the first result that pops up and Google gives you a little blurb of it, it says hamsters vocalize to express a variety of emotions. Your hamster may squeak while being fed or playing with his toy. He may squeal or scream when he is frightened or angry. It's not impossible that a hamster might scream intermittently because he has learned he can. So then I look at, okay, what is this website? Animals.mom.com. And it's written by somebody named Jen Davis. And if you scroll down, it says, Jen Davis has been writing since 2004. She has served as a newspaper reporter and her freelance articles have appeared in magazines such as Horses Incorporated. Doesn't say anything about if she's actually ever owned more than one hamster or if she knows like where she's gotten any of these claims. There is a reference spot. You can't open it, so I can't even see what those six references are. Uh, I'm sorry, but a website that's written by, I guess, moms isn't, isn't something that I would consider to be a reliable source. And that's the thing about Google. Google can be a really good resource, but it can give you incorrect and correct information, and it's your job to determine that. Just because Google put it as its first website doesn't mean it's correct. The way Google works is it takes the thing you've searched and it takes all of the related websites, it pulls them all together and it gives you a list of all of them. And the first one that usually pops up is either the most relevant or the most popular website. That doesn't necessarily correlate with like, if it's right information. It's your job to find reliable sources to learn things from. So a website that I find is a reliable source is a website called 
diebrain.de. Um, <laughs> I think that's in German. So I think it means like hamster. I don't know actually what it means. I'm not going to assume what it means. The reason I find this website to be a reliable website is for one, it's a German website. <laughs> and uh, if you didn't know, German hamster care standards are probably the highest hamster care standards in the whole world. Like I haven't found another country that has better standards than they do. And this isn't just written by like moms. <laughs> Nothing against moms, but this actually has sources. They give you reliable sources and references. So when we go to the hamster behavior section and we go down to the he screeches slash squeaks when you approach him, it says screeching is always a sign of fear and uncertainty. However, some hamsters really overdo it and start screaming at every little thing while other hamsters never screech. So this is a good thing to note. So hamsters don't scream for fun and they don't just scream because they wanna spite you while some hamsters can be scaredy cats and they're going to scream at things more often than some other hamsters it doesn't mean they're doing it for fun and it doesn't mean they're doing it just because they learned to do it so then they're going to continue to do it their feelings are still valid they are still scared the reason they make that awful noise is to get whatever is scaring them or threatening them to it's to scare it off in the wild, if a predator came up and like tried to like grab it maybe or something or like spooked it and it like was like, ah, and made that noise and the predator may decide like that's scary enough for them and they leave it alone. And keep in mind, screaming and squeaking are totally different. You can get a really vocal hamster who squeaks and is fine and is happy and is just vocal, but screaming isn't, isn't that. Screaming is a hamster in distress. I've owned over 20 hamsters, um, almost all of the species except for a Chinese hamster, and I only had one hamster ever scream, and that was after he escaped his enclosure, and then he went into a really tight area, and I was trying to get him out, and that is when he screamed. That is the only time in my whole lifetime of having a hamster scream. In conclusion, what have we learned today? So we learned that no, hamsters do not just scream for fun or in spite of you. They're screaming because they are scared. They may not have a reason to be scared in your opinion, but you are not the hamster. And we cannot just blindly believe any website that Google gives us. We need to look at it and question it and go, is this a reliable source? So I hope you learned something today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.